Hey guys, it's me, Kumasan, and welcome to another week of FNAF Weekly News. It's always I do every Saturday that covers this week's FNAF News. We got a lot of more this week, like we got so much more to news. We got some amazing game news about Into the Pit, and we got some movie news about the waiting of the new FNAF movie that's coming out next year. So let's just begin with the more show. So we got our first look at the prototype Mr. Cupcake Hex Plus, based on his appearance in Blumhouse's Five Nights at Freddy's, so the FNAF movie. The eye, the shape of the plus, eye placement, and colors will be adjusted for the final design. Features an op opening mouth. Uh, so we got our first look at it, I guess, it appeared in a darker video or something like that. And here's what I think. I think it looks kind of dopey. It looks kind of weird, but it is a prototype, so it could be changed. But I'm honestly not liking the look of it. It just doesn't look that cute compared to the other Hex Plusies. It doesn't have the button eyes. I think it does, maybe. It's very hard to tell in the picture because it's kind of low quality. But I'm not a big fan of the design. And now we got some more Hex news. There's like three Hex news things this week. So we got a lot of Hex stuff. So Hex's Nightmare Collection is now available. The wave includes a Nightmare Plus with LED glowing eyes and a wild body, short, beanie, hat, and enable pins. Orders begin shipping on October 16th. So the Nightmare Collection is finally here for the Nightmare Unit. Uh, look, it looks good. I like the plusy. A lot of more. I know it's going to be expensive, but... I know you guys like the Hex Plusies, and I do too. They're very high quality, and they're very cute, and they're pretty decently big, so there's a reason why it costs so much money. But Nightmare Unit looks pretty amazing. And that's not all, because the, the Hex Springtrap Collection is now available. The wave includes a short, a hoodie, an able pin, and orders begin shipping on November 11. That's a long time. That's two months, basically, before you can get the Springtrap stuff. But they look pretty cool. No Hex. There's no. There, there's already Hex plushy, so it's not in this collection. But you get some pretty cool stuff, some nice clothing items, which I think they look pretty good. But I'm not sure how much they cost. I hope you guys like the stuff that comes out. They got some nice. The pins look nice. The t-shirts look nice, and the hoodie looks nice. So. That's my opinion on it. And that is all for the Hex news. We got so much Hex news this week, but thankfully it was pretty easy to discuss. But now we got some FYE news. So FYE has released a walking great flavor of the fizzy fast cola featuring Roxanne Wolf from Five Nights at Freddy's security boots. And a cup depicting Toy Chica is also now available. So this is goes hand in hand. If you want to pour some of that fizzy fast uh, great flavored soda into your Toy Chica cup, you can now. So awesome. I'm kind of surprised why they made uh, Waxy have a cola, another one, because he already had like this generic cola, but now she has grape. I was thinking they would do it with like Sun and Moon, but they don't really have alt of them getting fizzy fast sodas in the game, so maybe that's why. But I can't try. I can't wait for you guys to try this stuff out. Um, I can't because I don't have an Fye near me. Well, it sucks, but. I hope you guys enjoy the epic grape soda in the nice Toy Chica cup, so pick it up. Also, FYE has released a exclusive micro puzzles featuring the Withered Animatronics and Mangle from Five Nights at Freddy's 2. So, all the Withered and Mangle, so what's up with all these merchandise having the Withered Animatronics and this Mangle? Because you guys don't have all the Withered Animatronics, well, it's Withered Golden Freddy, but it's whatever. But you can get these puzzles of all the Withered Animatronics except for Golden Freddy, but instead with Mangle at uh, FYE, so pick them up. If you like puzzles, might as well do it like you can do a family and stuff like that, so it's pretty cool. And the most controversial thing of this video is the Five Nights at Freddy's X Cloak Unsung Heroes Collection is now available. The launch includes a limited edition Foxy Denim Jacket, the Puppets called again, never heard that word before, King of FNAF Varsity Jacket, Lefty Onesie, and a 100 piece FNAF 1 through 4 puzzle. And people were complaining about the prices of this stuff. And I'm not gonna lie, this stuff is crazy expensive. No one can afford over a hundred dollars worth of like one t-shirt costs eighty dollars. That's outrageous. No one can afford that. They made a uh, statement about it, which they didn't really say much about it, and people still complain about it, which they dissolve because this stuff is really expensive. Especially you know how which Markiplier and Jacksepticeye. I'm not sure if Jacksepticeye is part of the same brain anymore. But I know it's a one by Mark Plow and him. So, I don't know, man. It's pretty expensive for these clothes. They look good, I will admit. They do look high quality, but they are very, very expensive. And now we got some YouTube news. So, YouTube says we'll be able to upcoming Chica and Foxy monitor buddies. Uh, I don't... I think they just sit, like, on your desk or something. Uh, they're cute looking. I, I, that, that's all I can say, really. Uh, they're small. I think that there's full ledges. Like, if you have a desk, you can put it on the leads of it. So, it looks like it's dangling. Moment, but that's pretty cool. Also, we got some upcoming news about a YouTube's Phantom Chica figure. So, they're making a Phantom Chica figure. There's some concept art for the box art of the upcoming uh, Phantom Chica figure, 
looks cool. Um, I'm surprised that she's getting one. Uh, Phantom Chica is not a favorite character because no one really likes Phantom Chica, but I know some people do. But it's cool that she's getting her own uh, figure. But that is all for the Mortal News. So I had to cover that pretty fast because there was a lot. That already took me five minutes. Jesus. But now we got some book news. So the official cover for the Five Nights at Freddy Sticklepedia releasing on May 6, 2025. So we got the official cover. It features over 100 stickers of Blueprint trivia in Easter eggs throughout. This fresh new format is sort to attract Freddy fans of all ages. So if you like sticker books, still is going to be a Five Nights at Freddy's one. Uh, so check it out if you're looking for it. It comes out on May 6, 2025. And that is all for the book news, so that's just book news. There is some stickers, but I know I'm not going to cover that because it, you guys already know you're going to get some stickers. But now off to the game news. So we got some amazing game news about the uh, Help on the 2, Into the Pit, and Funko Fusion. So a patch has been released on Friday, Five Nights at Freddy's Help on the 2. I'm not going to talk about it all because it's a lot of a lot of fix, 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 you know, patch. It's a patch, so you know. You can wait to hear, I'll leave this up for a few seconds, but I hope you guys notice anything different, any improvements in the game, because I don't own it, so tell me in the comments below if you if you see these things being fixed in the game, so yeah. And now for the biggest news of the week, we now got the official dates for the console ports of Five Nights at Freddy's Into the Pit, and they will launch on September 27th, releasing for Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, PlayStation 4 and 5, and Nintendo Switch. So, yeah, those consoles on September 27th, you can actually play the game now. So that's amazing. Uh, I know you guys have been waiting for it. I've seen some comments be like, hey, when is Into the Pit coming out for consoles? I thought it was already out for Nintendo Switch, but I guess I was wrong. It's coming out. So awesome. You guys are going to enjoy a great game that us PC players that already got to experience. It's a great game. I hope you guys enjoy the game. And we got Fun Confusion. So Fun Confusion's out. Uh, a lot of people are not liking it. It seems like it's nostalgia and stuff like that i when i played the demo i didn't really enjoy it either it was kind of boring uh not the funnest game i only played for Freddy fazbear because i'm a fnaf youtuber so i kind of had to play for that but um i'm not buying the game honestly it does not look fun but if you guys like five nights of Freddy's, you can pick it up it is like 60 dollars though so it's pretty expensive but uh look at some reviews make your own opinions on it i'm personally not playing it though and for the final thing of this week, so we got some movie news. The Blumhouse's Five Nights at Freddy's will be reportedly be rated PG-13. And I know this is big and controversial, but I think it's fine that it's PG-13. FNAF is not about violence and blood. It never was like that. It's about the holo and the lore. So, yeah, I know this is going to make some people angry, uh, but yeah, uh, FNAF is not a VHS series. So, uh, keep that in mind. It's never really about violence. Even the FNAF 1 movie... We got some pretty gnarly violence in uh, that one scene with uh, what, whatever that girl's name was. I haven't watched the movie in like a year because they took it off of streaming because they're stupid. But uh, yeah, it's going to be PG-13 and it's going to have a big old aim on Holo after the feedback from the first film. So it's going to be scary apparently, uh, which is awesome because I know some of you guys really like the scary. I really was invested with the characters in the lore personally. Uh, I don't. I didn't really care if it was scary or not. I just love FNAF so much, so I'm kind of biased. FNAF is the FNAF movie is my favorite movie of all time, but we just gotta see next year when it comes out and see how well it does. But that was all the week for this news. We got we got so much stuff this week. It's kind of crazy. I had to talk over this pretty fast. But if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. Help me get to 3,000 subscribers so I can so I can help out my channel. But I will see you guys next time.